Good afternoon, guys. I am coming on today. I love that I have this platform because I can actually talk to you guys and give you guys styles and tips and everything. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm really excited. If you guys have any questions, if you have any styles that you want me to do, please drop below. Ask questions, ask for styles. I am here for you. Second cup of coffee today and I need it. It's one of those days. I'm just tired. I don't know, are y'all? I am. Mm. Okay, so Ponyo. Ponyo actually is non-damaging, which is really cool. We're just gonna jump into it, guys. Non-damaging. It's comfortable. It um, makes your hair look 100% thicker, which is like heaven to me. Because again, if y'all have seen me on this, I have fine, thin hair. Like my hair's really, really fine. Sometimes you'll see it thick because I do wear extensions. But I'm gonna show you guys how to Ponyo. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm so excited again. Drop some questions, drop some styles. I will do them for you. Today, we've had a couple people ask for the uh, messy bun. So I'm going to show you guys that and we'll go from there. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my hair up in the Ponyo and show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. It's, uh, again, it spreads your hair out, makes it look thicker, no more headaches. No more tension, doesn't pull on your hair, which is amazing. So there's so many benefits to Ponyo. So let's cut to the chase. All right, so I'm gonna throw my hair up. I don't know if y'all noticed my overalls, but I'm just like feeling it today. I am in the South, I am from Texas, and it is hot outside, like hot. So uh, yeah, overalls it is. Okay, so throw your hair up to the desired height. I like mine super high. So I put mine pretty much on the top of my head. You don't have to do that. You can do it with the, the, the lower ponytails too. It's beautiful as well. Same effects, just not like as high. So what you're gonna do is two fingers, your pointer and your thumb. Make sure you do two fingers, okay guys? Do not, I repeat, do not do this. It's very uncomfortable. It's very hard to pull the hair through. It's like real awkward. So I would not recommend, do, just don't, just don't do this. All right, two fingers. So point your thumb. You grab your hair with your little baby shark. You pull the hair through the top. Keep the ponio close to your head as you're pulling. So once you get all your hair through, you're gonna squash your flat. Boom. I like to spread the ends out. I feel like that tightens here and it just, you want it to be evenly distributed. So it's super important. All right, so I'm gonna turn around so you can see the bends. Again, the most, this is the most important part of the ponio, bending the ponio correctly. You want to do two individual bends and I'm gonna stop talking and show you. Okay, put your thumb about half an inch from the end of the ponio. Take your other thumb and wrap it tight around the pon or your, your other thumb. So you want the ponio to shoot back, okay? Same thing on the other side. The tighter the bends, the sharper the bends, the tighter the ponio will be. You don't want space between your the, the, the ponio sides right here. You want it to be clamped shut. So if you have any pockets that open, oh, hello. Look at that ponytail. <gasps> Guys, this one's like magical. <laughs> I don't ever wear my hair straight and this is like the bounciest ponytail ever. This is fun. Okay, so, Gosh, I'm loving it. Okay, so again, sharp bends. It's so important to do the sharp individual bends. Okay, and then this is the messy bun that all of you have been asking about. Um, my Instagram manager told me that she's had a ton of questions about this, so I wanted to cover it. It's the messy bun, and we're doing it with the 2.0. So we're having our ponio in, the normal ponio in, okay? You're going to take your pony 2.0, which is the thinner version, so you can see it's slightly thinner than the original Ponyo. What you're going to do, gosh, I'm loving the straight hair, guys. This is cool. Again, I never wear it like this. All right, I could bounce around all day. All right, so what you're gonna do is take your hair, twist it, and wrap your hair around the Ponyo, okay? You're going to take the 2.0. Again, drop some styles. If you guys have any specific styles you're wanting to see, let me know. I will do them for you live right now. We're gonna take our 2.0, this is our messy bun. You're going to feed your hair through the messy bun. Just kind of like play with it. The messier, the better, guys. So like the more you mess with it, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start tugging. So now this is gonna give me this, again, it's cool with straight hair because you can kind of really mess with it. This is so cute. Okay, so once you have it to what you want, you squash the 2.0 
and gives you even more lift, which is really cool. Because again, I have fine thin hair, guys. I don't have this beautiful, massive hair that a lot of you have, which I'm super jealous of. But this gives me the look that I do, which is like on top of my head, messy, fun, you know, chilling, quarantine. This, this is what I normally do. And again, it's going nowhere. It's very, very secure, especially with the two ponios in. So very important. I feel like I'm missing people's comments. So guys, drop the comments. Can you show me which parts of the bun you pull on to make it thicker? So yeah, you want to use your baby claws. This is from Sarah. She wants to know how to make it bigger. So use your little like baby sharks and give it some tugs from the top. So like you just kind of mess with it, guys. There's no right or wrong way to make a messy bun. It's like the messier the better, the weirder the better, the more like disheveled the better. So just try it out play with it so this is one of my favorite looks and again it's like super secure it's going I can walk out on this and it won't go anywhere okay taking it out non damaging guys this is the most exciting part to me because hair ties damage my hair and break it off I have I obviously bleach my hair which I just saw my hairdresser join hey Veronica I was just at her place um, and I know you guys are talking to me um, so my hair is bleached and it does get damaged it just breaks off, which is like the most like sad thing every time I see it because again, I don't have much hair to spare. Did not try to rhyme there. Oh my God. Okay, so you <laughs> open it and this is the non-damaging part guys. You open it into a full circle. Don't try to take it out while it's like mangled. Like you want it to be in a full circle, okay? So you take it out and boom, no hair in there. And then let me kind of like brush it up and no creasing. And I did a bun. You would think it would definitely crease, but yeah. Back to the normal hair. Okay, should we try half up? Let's try half up. Okay, so we're going to take, I'm all about the reds these days. I don't know, I'm normally a pink person, but I'm like really digging red. We have all different colors. We have blues, we have a lilac. We're coming out with a fall collection, which I'm super pumped about. Um, and they're gonna be, there's gonna be fall colors and fall prints. So look out for that. We will let you guys know when that drops. Okay, so half up, we're going to do the same exact thing. Do not do this, please. This is the worst thing to do with a ponyo. Not the worst, this is, I'll give you the worst. This is just a no-no, don't do this. Do this, please. That turquoise is so cute. Half up, half down, I'm doing it right now, got you. Okay, so two fingers, slide your hair through the top, keeping it close to the head, okay? Have it touching the head before you squash. We're going to squash it flat. Okay, so once it's completely flat, I like to spread the hair out. Um, I would recommend spreading the hair out just because it makes it evenly uh, distributed. Okay, and look how thick that already looks. I'm using, like, if I had a hair tie in, guys, I'm telling you it'd be like this big. So, this is definitely heaven sent. So, you do the bends, sharp bends, sharp, sharp, and boom. Hello. This is such a, like, it's trendy. This is like the most trendy look right now in my opinion. This is kind of my style. This is what I love. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a bling ring to go with your half up. So this is so cute. Look how it spreads my hair. Again, if I had a normal hair tie, it would be like this big. No joke. Like super thin hair. Okay. So I've got the bling ring, guys. This thing is like gold. I'm obsessed with it. And it just dresses up in the outfit. Like I could be in overalls, like some like raggedy old overalls and like make it look cute, cute, cute. So, I'm going to take the bling, it's stretchy, and it's magnetic, boom. So it's so easy to take off and on, and but it does not, it will not just fall, like it's so, it's you have to really tug to get it off. So what you do is you wrap it around your ponio, and boom. Totally new look, it looks so classy. You could dress it up for like business, by doing it lower. <laughs> I'm obviously not business casual. I'm pretty like casual, but this is such a pretty look. Look at that. I'm obsessed. Okay, so taking it off, you just open it up and boom. Easy, no damage yet again, and you still look fab, which is super important. Um, you haven't received uh, any replies on your items, please message our Instagram page. My girl Kiki is amazing and she will get to you. I'll make sure to pass that along. I know we've had a ton of things coming in.
So um, you're, if, again, the order should be there shortly. So yeah, uh, they can ch check that tracking, no problem. That's pretty easy. Um, but definitely message Kiki on Instagram. So DM her and she'll, she'll figure that out for you. Okay, so to open again, non-damaging. Oh, so easy, pretty obsessed. Does anyone wanna try um, the, should I try the bun? Anyone wanna try it? <laughs> should I try the bun? Okay, I'm gonna try the bun. All right, you guys are gonna really like this one. This one's really, I'm gonna use the look baby pink because I've been using red a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair up all up in the 2.0. This is our thin version. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up in a full ponytail. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to get all the bumps out. I, I don't take enough time to like actually make it super sleek. Okay, so brush, brush, brush. All right. What type of hair do you guys have? I, again, I have fine, thin hair. Drop what like your hair type is and I can give you benefits to all that, um, to, to your specific uh, hair type. Okay, two fingers, guys, two fingers, baby shark it. We're going to feed our hair through, keeping the ponio close to your head, just like the original ponio. We're going to squash her flat, okay? And then I'll just turn around so you can see the sharp ends. So you take your thumb, wrap that ponio around your thumb. Same thing on the other side, wrap. Boom. Oh. I mean, and look at the height I still get with the uh, 2.0. It's like, look at that. My ponytails with the regular hair tie. I should have. Babe, can you grab me a regular hair tie? My, my husband's going to get me one. So you can actually see um, the, the difference. It's a big difference. Okay. So I'm, you guys have, okay, fine hair. So fine hair, sick, listen to me. Like, I, it's the same exact thing. Fine texture, thick, oh. Okay, so texture is really good with pony. It gives it a really good grip. Um, long, curly hair, curly hair. So our inventor has curly hair. So she invented this actually for herself, and it works so good with curly hair, guys. Non, it doesn't pull, you know, the little, like, it, get the curls give, like, a tug on it. I'm like, tug. They, it tugs your hair, and this actually does not do that. So it's so nice for that. Okay, very thick red hair. Red hair. We do have red. We have one for red red hair. Just check it out. Very thick. Um, yeah, non-damaging. It doesn't give you headaches, so it doesn't, like, tug on the hair. Oh, honey. He found me one. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> so, I know it's hard to find because I don't have these in my house. I only have them to show you guys. So here's a little hair tie. I'm going to first do the bun. I need to calm down. My coffee's kicking it. Okay, so... Bun bar, open on one side, closed on the other. Fine, but a lot of it. Fine hair, this is the best for, honestly, because again, it's not gonna break your fine hair and it really makes it look fuller, which is nice. Okay, so take your bun bar, center your hair between the hair, center your bar between the hair, guys, I'm having a day. Okay, pull it up to the shortest layer and then you're going to roll down towards your face. This is so important. I've had a ton of people rolling backwards. So how do you do it. Roll it towards your forehead. So you roll, 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 so you hit your head. And then you're going to wrap the bun bar around and give it a really good squash. So that's the most important part of the bun bar is the squash, 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 squash. The more you squash, the more secure it's going to be. So I like squash the crap out of it. So. Now that we're here, I'm going to take my baby sharks and give it a good wrap. So you want to wrap your hair and that's going to connect the, I'm going to talk to you this way, that's going to connect the, um, or close the bun bar to where it isn't showing and it looks fabulous. Check this bun out, guys. If you want it to be even bigger, what you're going to do is take, again, your baby sharks. I say that because I'm a mom. I'm sorry. I'm, anyway, take Grab the back of the hair where you've closed it off, and you're gonna take your fingers and just tug. And look how big I can get this thing. Again, you guys know I have very fine hair, so it would never look like this in a regular hair tie. I'm actually gonna show y'all here in a second with a regular hair tie. Boom! It's so good every time. I love my bun bar. It's like the best bun you can make. So, there it is. Easy, fun, fast. Okay, and it's for, you can make it formal, you can dress it down, just whatever you feel. Okay, I'm going to unroll her, and boom, back to normal. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys real quick 
a bun with, um, so take a picture of that bun and then look at this. Look how thin my hair looks when I actually just use a hair tie. It's really sad. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed about it, but you have to see. Like there's no comparison, guys. This is so little and sad. So, there is that. I wanna show you the ponytail too, so you can really get a good, good comparison between a ponytail and the ponytail holder and the, um, the pony O. Okay, so, I guess I could wrap it around one more time. It's just so tight. Hold on, okay. All right, so, this is a regular hair tie. It is flat, it's boring, and it's super, super thin right here. So when you take out ponytail holder, it does damage your hair. It rips it out and it's uncomfortable. And especially for kids, guys, this, the ponyo is so good for kids because there's no more owies. So that's my experience with my four-year-old. Okay, so um, let me show you the ponyo one more time just so you can see the difference. Um, so take a mental note of how tiny my hair looked in a regular hair tie. Okay, two fingers. I'm gonna do this one really fast because I've already done this a couple times. If you want it again, let me know. Okay, we're gonna squash her flat and bend and bend. And that's how fast it is and easy it is to get this amazing ponytail. You can see the huge difference, guys. It spreads your hair out, makes it look fuller, thicker. If you wanna see the back, this is what the back looks like. And I'm gonna do some jumps so you can see that it's secure. So I'm gonna look like a dork for a second. It's going nowhere. <laughs> All right, still in the right spot, and it's still high, it's still perky, and it's still fab. So, it's so easy. Okay, this one, what size? This is the um, original. Uh, it's not the XL, it's the original Ponyo. So, um, it's good for fine hair. It's good for medium thick hair. If you have super thick hair, go with the XL, so important. Um, let's see, low business style, I can do that in my overalls. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I'll do a low bun, which is really pretty. Uh, la, la. Okay, got the 2.0, oh my gosh, hello. All right, let me try to get a little presentable because <laughs> I'm a little not so right now. Okay, okay. After all that playing, I still don't have a crease, guys. Pretty incredible. All right. So, we're back to semi-presentable. I'm going to show you a low bun with the uh, Pony 2.0 and the bun bar. So take your two fingers, this is all the same process, we're just doing it lower, okay? Take two fingers, slide your hair through the top, keeping it close to your, your head. Squash it flat, and then bend the ends sharply and individually. You want it to be in a horseshoe shape. I, I like to give an extra squash, especially for the bun bar. I like to make them touch. So, I'm going to grab my, get these pieces up. It's just my style. Okay. I'm going to get my bun bar, which is open on one side. Poor connection. I hope y'all can see me still. Okay. Closed on the other side. We're going to take it, center your hair between the bar, roll it back, and then roll it in towards your head. So, forward. Roll, 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 roll. And you're going to squash the bun bar. That's so important to squash. So we squash the living crap out of it. Okay, so now that we have it squashed, I might fill some pieces. Okay, and then you're going to take your thumbs and roll the bun in and around and kind of give it some, some spinning. I like to spin it a little bit and that makes it really close up. Okay. How'd I do? I feel like I've got some hairs sticking out. So what you do with these little hairs that stick out, you can just really tuck them in and squash. I guess I should show you from behind. Squash. And if you want it even bigger, you just grab and tuck. And then always end it with a squash. That's so important to squash the bun at the end because that really gives it security. Dad, you okay? I can't see it. Typically, I use like a mirror in the back to really like maneuver, but it's that easy that you don't really need a mirror. I, do, I know I've got little pieces here. I just roll. There we go. <laughs> hey, there you have it. All right. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Okay, I'm going to open this. 
Can you do a low bend with just a ponyo? Absolutely. So I have a ponyo in right now. I can just show you really quickly. Ooh. All right, so I typically do high because, especially for demonstrations, because I can see better on how I'm styling it. Mm. Okay, low bun with just the ponium, easy. So I'm going to take it, wrap, 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 so I do a nice little twist, okay? Oh, can you see me? Twist. And then you take your fingers and then wrap the bun around. And this is more of like a chill style right here, or you can take another ponium, which will be way more secure and just feed it through. Squash, bend and bend, and then you can give it some tugging, and you have a really cute low bun. I hope that was helpful. I hope that's what you were looking for. Uh, did I, yes, message us on Instagram. Thank you. Yes, definitely message us. We will help you out, no problem. Our my customer service people are they're on it, and if uh, please just what was your question? I don't know what your question is. Um, okay, um, go ahead and message us and I can answer any questions you have. So met, DM us please and we will answer all and any questions that you have. Um, I'll make sure that they see your name and answer it very quickly. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys are awesome. Love you. Let us know if you have any questions. If you need anything, we are always here. Our customer service is amazing. They genuinely care, guys. We all care in this company. We love you. We know the product works. If you need anything, let us know. We'll even FaceTime you if you're having problems. So just let us know. We're here for you always. Uh, but you don't answer. Again, we'll answer, I promise. Um, we will, I'll have them DM you right now, actually. Okay, awesome. Well, you guys have such a good day. I will talk to y'all soon. I'll talk to you next week. I come on Wednesdays. So I'll talk to you Wednesday. Mwah.